Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Ellen Azmi Kalik and I am working as an interventional cardiologist in CMR Thoracic and Cardiovascular Surgery Center. And I am doing this presentation from Istanbul, Turkey. Today I will have the pleasure to present our challenging case, but before starting, I would like to thank Cardiovascular Innovations Foundation organizers and directors for creating such a prestigious digital scientific environment. Our case is the percutaneous closure of a complex fistula which originates from all coronary arteries and drains to the pulmonary artery. Today I am also going to demonstrate our retrograde solution to tackle this giant fistula. Our case is a 60-year-old female and in her relevant history her LAD was stented with with a regulating stent in 2013. After two years, she had a surgery for LED to pulmonary artery fistula. And unfortunately, after two years in 2017, she suffered from the recurrence of the same fistula and she underwent a failed and degraded percutaneous closure attempt. Her chief symptom on admission was exercise induced angina and dyspnea and on her medical treatment, she was taking aspirin, metoprolol and rosuvastatin. Her stress imaging revealed moderate ischemia in apex and following echocardiogram showed similar findings. CT angiogram of her showed the connections between left anterior descending left cirque and the right coronary artery and the pulmonary artery. We continued with a coronary angiogram and in the spider wheel, you can appreciate the giant fistula formation. Our strategy was closing the fistula via femoral access and in a retrograde fashion. And there were two main reasons behind this strategy. First, and the main reason was occluding the distal neck of the fistula would seize the whole blood coming from the all coronary arteries. And the second reason was a history of a failed integrate approach because of the extensive tortuosity of the proximal part of the fistula. We first engaged left main coronary artery with a six French diagnostic catheter to provide imaging guidance during the retrograde approach. Then, through the right femoral venous access, we advanced a five French long guiding sheet over a guide wire to engage the distal neck of the fistula. You can see the image of the fistula via retrograde the place sheet. After deciding the appropriate size of the closure device, we cautiously delivered the Amplast duct occluder device 6x6 in a retrograde fashion. And we did this with the help of integrate imaging. Before releasing the device, we did a tuck test and we confirmed the stability of the device. Before finishing the procedure, and after waiting five to 10 minutes, we took our last shots and we confirmed that the total occlusion of the fistula. To conclude, in the present case, we reported a successful treated complex fistula formation, which constitutes many connections between coronaries and pulmonary artery. As we anticipated the pertinence of the device and structure of the fistula, a duct occluder in suitable size was implanted in a retrograde fashion and the procedure was ended up without any complication. Thank you very much for your patience.